checking the high voltage electricity current up in the air on a tower that is as high as a 60-story building. You may tremble on seeing this, but believe it or not, that's what Wang Jing does every day. As a repairman with the Chinese State Grid Corporation, Wang has to climb up and down to examine the cables with the help of no equipment a part of his equipment. The tower is very, very tall. The height is a big challenge for all workers. Sometimes his work becomes even more challenging, particularly in temperatures of over 40 degrees Celsius. As the weather is extremely hot, sometimes the handles on the tower feel too hot to touch, which may lead to me missing a step and falling off. Instead of one hand holding the cable or the other repairs, as most examiners do, Wang Jing works with both hands off. Moreover, he's so adept at his work that he's able to use his hearings to tell exactly where the cable was damaged, which his colleagues can hardly do. However, such a performance is incredibly risky. Statistics shows that high-voltage electricity may turn anyone nearby to ashes. And few dare to work in live high-voltage conditions. Despite the danger and the challenges, Wang has found his own way of working. We're so worried about him at the time, we are almost as nervous as he is. For the workers like him, this job is life or death challenge. Wang told us that no matter how challenging or tough it is, someone has to do the job to ensure a smooth supply of electricity to residents. And he is willing to take this responsibility. To many, including his son, Wang Jin is a superhero, but he himself says he's just an ordinary repairman who's ready to contribute the illumination of the city and the convenience of people's daily life.